So just like before you pre-tin your connections on your connector, now you want to check your battery and make sure which side is which is positive and which is negative. On mine, this side's a positive, this is a negative. And actually now that I'm looking at it, it's labeled that way as well. So make sure you solder your connections the right way. I did find a little heat shrink in the garage. It may be a little bit too big. I'm not sure at this point, but I'm going to give it a shot. So heat up your solder. Get your wire in there. Let it solidify. Oh, that didn't work, did it? I guess I didn't get it hot enough. Let's uh, try that again. Oh no, my heat shrink. Yeah, you gotta watch that heat shrink business. So there we go, those are connected. I might add just like a little dab of solder in there as well just to give it a little extra it's probably in there no it's not never mind <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do that make sure I reinforce that a little bit add a little bit more solder on the back side of it and uh, put my heat shrink over it just to give you a heads up as to how I'm doing this I'm flipping up on its side so that I can see better what I'm doing and also so that I using gravity to my advantage when it comes to adding the solder. I'm getting a little extra solder. Put it over the top, make sure everything liquefies. And that ought to do it. Again, the last step is just to slide your heat shrink over this and use your torch to shrink everything up. Again, this heat shrink is a little bit large, so let's see how well it works. May have to give it a little extra heat for a little more convincing. Oh, make sure it doesn't fall down like that. Maybe hold it this way to use gravity to your advantage. I know you can't really see that too well, can you? Stinking hand is in the way. shrink was a little on the big side for this application. Oh. No, that's not going to work. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is just put a little bit of um, electrical tape around this connection here for now. Um, I can always go back to Home Depot or where we get your heat shrink from, disconnect the connection, put the right size heat shrink on it and redo it. I mean that's not that big of a deal. But you get the idea. I just didn't have what I needed here at the moment. But that's pretty much it. Now your speed controller is ready to be connected, programmed, ready to fly. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my page. I've got a lot of other videos on how to do a lot of other things. Uh, I think I've got a, over 150 videos at this point. So yeah, check it out. Subscribe it. Like it. Share it. Thank you.